thank you for being back on my channel and i welcome the new people coming to my channel my channel is vion's chronicle and we welcome welcome i think we should start popping some champagne right no just kidding so i welcome the newcomers to my channel my channel is based on women precisely and also precisely about marriage relationship and i am more into toxic relationship what you can do to change that relationship or what you can do to walk away of that relationship or that marriage Today we are going to talk about different type of marriages. Yes, we have different type of marriages if you are not aware. We have different type of marriages. Yes, we do have different type of marriages. So I'm going to come and talk about those different type of marriages and I'm giving you the go ahead to put a comment below and tell me what you think about it okay so the first the title of today is god speaks to the man who wants to hear him God speaks to the man who wants to hear him. It's very deep. He says a lot. You know, in the Bible, God has gone, Jesus has gone through a lot. Aside Jesus, there were a lot of other apostles and men of God in the Bible who went through so much okay and the best is to listen to the voice of the lord if you want to open your ears and listen to what god is telling you do it don't go to a human being for advices i always say it god's advices is the best and of course he's not going to appear Either you pray, and after pray, you take a while, relax in your room, and listen to the voice of the Lord. Aside that, he can also appear by giving you signs. There, there could be some signs that uh, you can ignore. You are in a toxic relationship and you think after getting married, that relationship will change. If this guy is already beating you when you people are dating, how much more when you marry? He will break your leg. I'm sorry to say it. So God speaks to the man who wants to hear. And I'm saying different type of marriages we are facing today in our society i'll bring it all yes if you don't like the truth my sister you can pause if you don't like the truth i say if you don't like the truth go to the next uh, topic on youtube it's not by force i am telling you the truth the truth hurts but that is the reality on the ground. You need to be told the truth so you can move on. Okay? So I said, the first type of marriage is the one that you think, <laughs> I'm already laughing, is the one that you think you are married to somebody, but you are not married in reality. That was my case, number one, in that marriage. I thought I was married to somebody, but I was not. 
it was very simple we were married he was outside the country some people they are even living with you in your house I mean, he, I mean, we are living together. He's not paying water bill. He's not paying the rent. He's the one who, vi, who even eats the whole food in the house. But he doesn't pay the bills. Worst case, you have children. You are the one who is paying school fees. You are the one who is buying shoe and clothing for the children. You are the one who is buying grocery for the house. The only thing this guy does is when he wants to sleep with you, he will come and sleep with you very well. The following day, he will sit down on the table and eat breakfast. Are you the one who paid that the, the egg, the bread, the, the milk? No. But he's the one. So, my sister, why are you saying that? Why, why are you staying in that marriage? It's better I know I am a single mom and I'm managing and suffering to take care of my children and myself because he's not playing his role as a husband he's not playing his role as a security man he's not playing his role as a good companion so why are you keeping him these are the kind of people that when you see them at church, Mr. and Mrs. Hey, I'm married. You're married where? You're married where? You're married nowhere. In fact, nowhere. Me. Please, I'm not a home worker. But if you're in such kind of marriage, tell that guy, please, pack your things and leave. I had a friend of mine who was in such situation. She has to pay the children's school fees. And the thing started, the thing is when you marry them, at the beginning, they don't act like that though. It's after some few months or few years, maybe after three or four or five years, that you see that this guy is not bringing pocket money on the table again. He's not paying the rent of the house. Like when you ask, you tell you, I've not gotten my salary yet, or the money has not come yet. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My brother, on that instant, I'll divorce you. Because there's no need for me to keep you in, in that marriage when you are not showing yourself useful in that marriage. It's not, there's no worth in that. So, my dear sister, you want to divorce him, please. I will push you. I will help you to do that. In fact, I'm already helping you. It's up to you. <sighs> Marriage is not easy. The second one. Controlling marriage. Mr. Controller. I don't want you to work. I want you to be a housewife. I want you to stay in the house. I'm a jealous man. I cannot stand you dressing like that for another man to be seeing you. Okay. Open me a shop. Even open the shop is a problem. You ask for money to buy food stuff is a problem. When you ask for money, you ask him maybe for, let's say, hundred dollars or five hundred dollars per month this guy is when i mean i mean five hundred dollars per month is i mean full staff taking care of the children and you also have to look after yourself as well you know a woman is maintenance <music> pass your way because a woman you see the way you take care of your car you have to take care of a woman like that you have to maintain her 
And when we talk about maintenance, it's money. It's not just sleeping with her. You have to maintain her. So, you ask him $500. You see this girl just come and put on the table $100. This is what I have. Behind your back, he's giving even $1,000 to some side chick outside. So, my sister, why did you leave your job? Who sent you to go and resign when your future was not yet assured? You see, this life now, you don't marry people who are suffering. No, you suffered already a lot. Your parents are praying for you to marry a good man who can help you out of your suffering. Then you go and marry some idiot who told you you should resign and you also resign. Number two, that one happened to me in my marriage. But thank God I was stubborn a lot because me, myself, I love mommy. So I cannot sit down and be begging you for money. Lie, lie. I see stars in your eyes. I see stars in your eyes. I see stars in your eyes. her freedom go and write it somewhere a woman who is working on her own and has her own money and is doing her own investments oh you don't know the joy oh. <laughs> be there asking and begging sometimes he will not give you money he will just leave you there there was also another story i heard about a certain woman she resigned the guy pumped her five children in the house. When it pleases him on weekend, he can come back home. If he doesn't come back home, there's no food in the house for the children. She will go and knock at my friend's uh, apartment because they were neighbors. That's how come I got to know the story. Go and knock at my friend's uh, uh, apartment and beg for rice and oil. That I beg my sister. The children have not eaten since morning and he has not come back home yet which kind of irresponsible man is that and the worst is when he comes home he will beat the hell out of her ah uh, that man will pay you <laughs> they will always pay if he's not now after 10 years you pay because you forget that this is somebody child. That you, when you were wooing her, you were chasing her, you were telling her all the sweet word. She was so naive. She believed you. She married you. And now today, you are making her see her. Why? Are you not the one who told her to leave her job? You see, you men, eh? If you cannot do something, don't talk. Because I am telling you, when you say something and you don't do it, God will serve you nicely. Either you get anya, or when you go old, you'll be wearing pampers and nobody will want to look after you, or the young, young girls will be insulting you anyhow, or life will be so miserable for you. See, a woman is like God. That's why God has allowed her to keep a child of nine months in her tummy. You should fear women, no men. You should fear women. You, you have a woman in your life, treat her well. Because at the end of the day, it is also a woman who gave birth to you. Don't forget that. I'm passing to number three, marriage greedy marriage there are many those ones there are many my sister when you see those missus and mr they've been flaunting themselves on facebook flaunting themselves on instagram and all that 
I beg, oh, close your eyes, close your ears. Some of them, they go and lend money from people to come and have that lavishing life. At the end of the day, when they come and lock themselves in the bedroom, come and hear fight. Hey, I didn't tell you to, to, to go and buy. You know, we don't have money. How, how come when I went to lend money from this person, you want to buy that Gucci bag? Meanwhile, you know, the money we were planning to go to Dubai at least for one week. And so we, you see, by force, you must have a life of a rich person. Is it by force? You see, sometimes those kind of marriage don't last though. Oh, sit down. Have a glass of wine and watch how they'll divorce. You will laugh. The way their secret will be coming out. You hear maybe this person went to steal money from their bosses because uh, they haven't asked for some money and or uh, is their wife who was asking for some money and their husband couldn't afford it and went to steal money from this. This kind of greedy marriage does not last. My dear sister, you are single. A man come to woo you or chase you. Let me put it like that. Make sure you do a very good background check on him before you go and put yourself into the marriage. Greedy marriage to the extent that you don't have money, but you want to have a lavishly marriage, a wedding. You want everything to be pumping, pumping, pumping. You don't have money. that pompy pompy marriage every, every people will eat people will drink they will even flatten it at the part of the the, the wedding itself then after they will go you and your wife will be alone in the room contemplating who are the people you people are owing it's bad though it's very bad you have to be extremely careful There's a second part for greedy marriage too. Second part of greedy marriage is um those gold diggers. I'm not talking about women. Women there, I know we should clap for ourselves. We are so popular. There's no more like gold diggers for we the women. Our name now is Pretty Lady. Uh -huh. Yes, a woman has to be taken care of. Hello, guys. Gold diggers, I say gold diggers is the men. You are there with a uh, poporo. You so gary. You manage the love. You drink water upon the love. Both of you are saying you love each other. Poporo, he will just get up because he has seen a uh, dangote daughter who came to his life. Because of that, poporo say he doesn't want you again. Then after a few months, he has met them with the daughter. He wants to marry her. Clap for yourself. This kind of marriage doesn't last though. <laughs> Sit down and write it somewhere. After five or six years, Papa will come and tell you, hey, <laughs> her father is controlling everything. But you married a girl because of her money. You and I were here, we were sucking Gary. You went, you saw them go to the daughter. You say you want to marry her. You went. Now you are seeing fire. Even the house they are living in, it is gone. Don't go to who gave them the house. Is it normal? That one too is greedy marriage. This kind of greedy marriage will not last. I bet Jay, let me pass to the next one. Um, hmm. This one. I'm sad. My sisters, I'm sad for that one. Bernice marriage. That couple that they marry. No children. I don't wish it to anybody. Oh. I don't wish it to anybody. Even my worst enemy. I don't wish that to them. You marry, there are no children. My sister. 
you spend all the money you can from hospital to hospital you know sometimes when you look at the spiritual side maybe you that your husband he has made girls I bought, I bought, I bought it, I bought it. They, they, those girls have bought it for your husband to the extent that it plays a role. Now that it is his turn that he wants to have a child with his so-called wife, it's difficult. You think when you are acting like that, God is not watching you. God is watching you. God is seeing you. God is seeing you. <laughs> you think you're smart? Hey. There's another one. Bennett's marriage. That one is both couples. The man is wicked as hell. The wife is more than patience also called in her movies wizard witches president of all the witches she's wicked excuse me my dear a womb that there is so much fire in that womb no pregnancy will stand in it mark it somewhere you are so wicked to your fellow women let me say be some big madam in a big company She's always <laughs> okay. Continue now. You go home, even your secretary is pregnant. You go home, you are crying. God, who are you? Who are you? Don't you know that some of those things backfire to you? Have you forgotten that there is a God? Have you forgotten that there is a God? God is watching you, my sister. If you are like that, you are married and you are behaving that way, change your attitude. So God will open ways for you to get pregnant. There's another third level of bareness marriages which is your two blood are not working together point final you are blood a or his blood b minus your blood cannot come together so if it doesn't come together you can't have children there was the story of that couple after 10 good years of struggling, suffering, going from hospital to plane to hospital, from plane to hospital and all that, not even half of a pregnancy came into her mood. Then one day, a friend of them, he didn't want to separate their marriage, okay? But I think sometimes it works. He said, hey, you people are frustrating each other too much. Why don't you try to separate? I'm not saying you should divorce yet. Separate. Try different partners. And then, let's see within six months if each one of you will not get pregnant. Or you, you pregnate somebody. It didn't go to two months. Both partners came back together and said, ah, I get belay. The other one said, ah, I belay somebody too. Sometimes it's the blood. Your blood does not come together. And this is something that medicine will not tell you. Medicine, they are looking for money. So medically, Medically, they will not tell you because they want to chop your money. So they will keep on saying test on point that they want to chop your money. But the reality is sometimes you have to just separate. 
So at the end of the day, they separated and each one of them continued their life. You know, sometimes in life, you just have to accept some situation and close your eyes. You could be called to be together, but there are some levels in the marriage that you cannot come together. So, that was it. It even happened to one of my friends. Seven years of marriage, they separated. This guy went to pregnant another woman. So she felt, she felt really frustrated and she divorced the guy. She recently met somebody, not even three months. She's pregnant with twins. Isn't it beautiful? Very beautiful, my dear. Congratulations. Keep it up. All I want, I want women to be strong. I mean, there is nothing new under the sun that you think you cannot change. It's not true. There's another type of bareness marriage. That one, kill yourself. I say, kill yourself. That magic where you see Mr. and Mrs. I love you, I love you in front of everybody. Five years, no belly. Do you know why? This is one of the most smelling secrets ever. But it happens so that when they divorce, like the girl is so tired now that she divorced, that's why she opened her mouth and talk. Oh, uh, he was gay. He never wanted to fuck me in front. He wanted, excuse me for the language, oh, he wanted to do it behind. Waiting be behind, my behind. She will tell you, yes, behind. So she's married. Do not envy some people marriage, oh. You people should open your ears. Do not envy some people marriage. You do not know the smelling things that are going on into those marriages. Ah, you see her, fancy car, looking beautiful. The, the latest Brazilian hair, everything. Do not, oh, do not envy it, oh. Hey, you don't know. She married a gay. First of all, you should fear a guy who says, please, let's wait for the wedding day before we do it. Hey, wedding day, then your concumba is not up. How are we going to manage this one? Then he will tell you, no, he is more attracted to men than women. Jesus. Where did I put myself to? Then you have to bear that thing. You have to bear it for years and years. You can't have children. You can't. You have to manage. You can't. He will even tell you that you can cheat on him, but you can't have children. If you have children, he will tell you that the children have to bear his name. So at the end of the day, you are making life easy for him. My sister, that kind of marriage, divorce. I'm pleading with you. I encourage you. Divorce and be happy. Because you don't take care. This man can give you AIDS. If you don't take care. I swear. Ah. Life. Now we are moving to marriage. Marriages. marriages that you are living with your family in law clap for yourself i lived when me and this man we married after one month of me leaving my house this guy called me from us to say that i should carry my things and come and stay in his family house i spoke about it to my parents they say hmm this is not good for business, girl. It's very bad. I say, ah. Since it is the husband. You know, even upon the father, he was more treating me. I was listening to him. Because the Bible say, 
woman listen to your husband and i did so i listened to him you say pack your things and go and stay in my family house alongside i started realizing that he just wanted to control me he wanted to you know like have an eye on me you know making sure like i'm not going out maybe i'm not having my fun and that's where i'm coming from ladies a man who is controlling all your movements is not a marital man a man who is controlling the kind of calls you are receiving who want to check your text message and everything i am telling you this is a man who is clearly clearly cheating on you and he just doesn't want you to do what he's doing so to stop you from doing what he's doing he has to control you control your movements your steps your everything it was not funny living in a family house it was not funny sometimes i'll dress my mother-in-law will look at me and say mm, why are you dressing so expensively like that i'll put perfume hey you have not even come out of the bedroom i'm already smelling the perfume that must be very expensive you know this kind of a uh, sentence basically means <sighs> you are spending her son money what the fuck your son never gave me a dime girl i don't care who you are but he never gave me a dime he never gave me a dime what do you give me fifty dollars hello hmm? so you see i don't think i'm the only person who lived in that kind of situation a lot of women have been in that kind of situation Sometimes you cook for your husband. Your mother-in-law too will cook. And your husband is now lost or confused about whose food he's going to eat. Because if he eats your food, his mom will say, Oh, you don't love me. You are not eating my food. You are eating your wife's food. your husband buys something for you i'm telling you the whole house will know that your husband bought something for you he buys you a car you say hey, he's spending money on this girl he's putting all his money on this girl if your husband disagree with something just say hey, she's putting things in his mind he was not like that before these are some of the things when you are living in a family house with your husband, especially in your husband's family house. In the worst case, if he has sisters, huh, those witches, hey, they will show you pepper. They will grind the pepper, put it in your eyes. So you will cry every day. Sisters-in-law. Oh, this one, they are they are the disciple of the mother-in-law <laughs> when the mother-in-law is not able to attack you they are the one who come and attack you it's a serious issue i will advise you you marry your husband come and say hey, let's my 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 parents say they have a big house and the house will be empty if i leave so let's come and stay in their family we family house that I can't have my privacy. See, it's nice when you have your, your own apartment or your own house with your husband. Or, you know, girl, you can do your small street teas in the living room. You can have your chuk 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 in the bathroom. Nobody will come and knock. You can have your chuk chuk in the kitchen. You can have your chuk chuk in the living room. You can have your chuk chuk on the balcony. You can have your chuk chuk everywhere in the house. But if you are living in the family house, 
It will be every day in the bedroom. And if you're in the bedroom, you cannot shout. You can say, ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. You can't do that, though. Hmm. Imagine the door next to your door is for the mother-in-law. How can you shout? Don't shout. The following day, she say, somebody is killing my son. What have I done to marry your son? So, my dear sister, I am pleading with you. If you love yourself, if you love yourself, if you want to keep on being young and beautiful, if you want to have your privacy and your happiness, And you want to have full access and control of your marriage. I say it too. Don't stay in your family in your house. Don't come and complain to me. I told you so. <sighs> now, I'm coming to marriage and, and satisfaction. Marriage and satisfaction. If I have to put some bomb, be, 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 boom. You see, my dear sisters, sometimes we are the one who are spoiling our marriage. Let's say oh, you are those slay queens, long nails, you don't. Always the one party, party, party. You are the one who always have Brazilian hair. You are the one who always have tattoo left and right. But we are so lucky. I mean, so lucky to marry such an angel as a husband. He loves you. He works hard. He works his ass to the moon to make you happy. I believe, okay, oh, your skills is, you are very good in bed. I, you got the gold medal. Yes. I can't compete with you. You are too much in bed. Kim Kardashian look. The face, the makeup is on point. Ah, I can compete with you. <laughs> but my sister, you are wicked. You are wicked. That man will do you all those things, and you still not appreciate. Why? As his parents giving birth to you for him. Eh? have made somebody's son suffer hello baby um there's no food in the house uh i think you should buy some pizza some chicken wings uh i would like to have some drinks um i'm with my girls so please buy about four packs thanks pop i saw you do pop you are insulting the boy to your friends. Oh, forget that you idiot. His mother came here last night. She, she wanted to eat. Does she think I can cook? I can't cook. Oh. So his son ran away to go and buy food for him. And you are proud to say that. But this is a, it's better you sit up right now. Start cooking. Remove those Cardi B nails. Put that your wig aside and become the wife you are supposed to be. Because let me tell you, that man will not talk 
Funny enough, those kinds of guys, they don't talk cool. But the day they act, you you remove your eyelashes <laughs> so you can cry plopper. Yes. You remove your eyelashes so then you can cry well. Because that day, that man will say enough is enough. You do not appreciate anything I do to you. You do not care whether I had an accident or I was stuck in the traffic before coming home. And you are this kind of girls who have been shouting, yes, you are supposed to come at 8 p.m. for us to go out. And, you, and this is the time you are coming. Can you imagine? Who do you think you are? Who are you thinking? Have you forgotten that it's somebody's son you are talking to? Have you forgotten that it's somebody's son you are more treating like that? My sisters, sit down. Think well. Think about if tomorrow you, were, you have given birth to a son. That his girlfriend will treat him like that or his wife will treat him like that will you be happy think about it because this guy has accepted you with all your flaws and you must at least try to respect his ego he has an ego those kind of guys who don't talk they are quiet they are just watching you disgracing yourself because at the end of the day you are not disgracing him my dear you are disgracing yourself. Let's bet. Are you working? No. You are just there, slaking, slaking, slaking. He's tired of you. He will pack your things and let you go. What is not telling you that behind your back, he has already an independent lady who has her own apartment, who has her own car, who can cook for him. So when he comes home at 9 p.m., he has already eaten with that girl in a very harmonious environment i'm sorry but the truth hurts yes you have to sit up try to start going down small relax and try to figure how you can make to save your marriage hmm? anyway i've spoken no you are not happy it's your own problem <sighs> toxic Marriages. Thank God, me, that idiot. I don't even know which what name I should give him. That Pokoro. I think that's the name we should be giving them. Those stupid guys. Pokoro. That Pokoro. Thank God. After one week of the marriage, he went to the U.S. I thank God for that. Because I believe, if he was here, the marriage would be toxic. I wouldn't be happy out uh, even far away i was not even happy it was a nightmare that marriage seriously my dear sister i'll just be brief on that one you are in a toxic marriage leave leave before it is too late you know, these kind of guys, like, he will slap you. Then you go and say, baby, forgive me. I don't know what happened. And you are the one who is pushing me to behave like that. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. I swear to God, I won't do that again. Not even two days. That one, he will break your leg. Baby, forgive me. I will, oh, please. Oh, I won't do that again. You see, the funny part with these kind of guys, they have, they know that they have you in their hand. Why do they know that they have you in their hand? It's because they know that you have nowhere to go. It is bad, my sister. You have to start showing to them that you have options. Now, to have options, you don't need to brag Sorry, I'll leave you. I'll leave you. They don't like that. Don't do that. If within yourself, you know you leave him, don't say it. Some of them, my sister, as soon as you start saying, I'll leave you, I'll leave you, he will pin you down with a pregnancy. I had a friend like that. First, pre first pregnancy. After the first pregnancy, the guy was still violent. I said, my dear, leave him. 
change your number, move out, prepare, rent an, an apartment far away from where he is and everything. She didn't listen to me. She went there, I will leave you. If you continue like that, I will do this. I will do this. I will do that. Hey, why are you? Man, by the time I realized she was pregnant with number two. I said, but I told you when you want to leave him, don't tell him, don't, don't let him know your plans. Act. Then after he'll be like, the house is empty. What the fuck? So this girl is really gone. Yes, I'm gone for good. I'm not coming back. But when you tell him, I'll leave you, I'll leave you. They'll pin you with pregnancy. Mark it on the world. Mark it in your agenda. They will pin you with pregnancy. Now today she has four with that guy. <laughs> I'm tired. If you're in a toxic relationship, it's very simple. Leave him. When you're leaving him, don't let him know you are leaving him. Do not let him know you are leaving him. Simple. Some, if you make that mistake, they can even kill you. Because, you know, these guys are mentally sick. They have colomenta. So, telling to that kind of savage, a, 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 a brutalizing man, it's not good. You can't tell him. You see, they tend to think that you belong to them. So, they can do anything they want with you. So now, when you dare telling them that you are leaving them, straight in their mind, they are like, ah, does it mean another man is going to enjoy her? Never. Either I pregnant her or I kill her. So my dear sister, you want to leave a man, don't tell him. You have children for him. Don't also let the children know. Just one day, you go and pick your children, then you go. And you make sure your number two has changed. And you make sure you tell your family members not to let him know. Simple. Simple. Anyway, I have spoken though. <sighs> I'm going to talk with financial marriage. This, my dear sisters, who nowadays have been buying husband. <laughs> Clap for yourself. You are now buying husband. How do you want this guy to respect you? How do you want this guy to be faithful to you? I am saying they buy husband how? She's in her 30s. Maybe she's a banker. Maybe she's a pilot. Maybe she's a lawyer. And because... having babies uh, because of jealousy she has seen her friends are doing well they are getting married all that frustration is then she meets a poporo a guy who is not even her level who is not even her standard my dear ladies don't lower your standards okay if you are a pilot Try to get yourself somebody who has almost the same, who is either at the same level of standard as you or at a higher level as you. Please, don't be in the right to go and get a gold digger, a poporo. Don't go and get a poporo who come and suck your blood. Because he will not love you. He will love you for the car, for the house, and for the money you have. So some of those ladies, they confuse the poporo with money. Say, you know, me, I have money already. I don't need all this. 
I don't need your money. I don't need nah, all I want is I want you to marry me and have children and blah blah. You see, when you are too quick to say everything about your achievements in life, you are too quick to say everything about what you want in the next uh, one year, you know. Some of those guys, they already know that there are a lot of girls who are stranded for partners. So he will play along with you. After six months, oh baby, I want to marry you. Ah, are you serious right now? I wish to give you a slap. This is no marriage. He doesn't love you. It's just that the opportunities are there. Wake up, girl. This guy doesn't love you. And of course, you are giving him your car to drive. You are buying him clothes. So who is the man between both of you? Don't you think you are now the man? This same guy will cheat on you. Don't come and complain. Because I said it clearly. You bought his love. You made life easy for him. So if you meet these Pokoro boys, I beg you. My sister, take it easy. Take it easy. It is no love. So a lot of ladies nowadays are buying Pokoro boys. Marry them. And these Pokoro boys will be driving their cars. He will not even bring money on the table. Because you are doing everything. He's just there to warm your bed and give you babies. If, I don't know, maybe that's what you want as a marriage. But it's nice when you feel that you have a real man by your side. Yes. Marriage has different faces as a this. Yes, a dice. Yeah, a dice. It's like a dice. When you throw, it will turn to one, and then you know you throw again, it will turn to two. You throw again, it will turn to four. Yeah. And each one of them have their characteristics. And all we can say is you have to put it in God's hands, you know. The second one I'm going to talk about, the last one, please. Going to talk about the marriage of companionship. his wife and you know that that thing that's it then you're like what's going on here it's because this guy he has played the player he has played the player to the extent that god said i am tired take it like that and then he fell on his. But sometimes, my dear, they are the most happiest people ever in marriages. 
amends the husband's the husband is handsome and the wife is ugly or the wife is beautiful and the husband is ugly that kind of couple most of their marriages this kind of people marriages is based on communication acceptance and true love and good companionship plus communication you notice that also these people their iq level is extremely high you see the guy is handsome maybe he's a banker somewhere or whatever then you hear his wife is a pilot damn like yeah i respect you man you want to marry the brain not the beauty you see when you see that kind of couple respect them it's not about the money it's not about the beauty it's not about uh, the social life of that person most of those couples they marry themselves for who they are now you sit back and be like what what did he see in her i'm far better than her okay you are far better than her but because you are beautiful but you might not have the quality that she has girl open your eyes so life is a beautiful thing yo <laughs> open your eyes so <laughs> marriage is a funny book oh very funny book so my dear ladies uh i'm sorry for yesterday no to all now i'm actually not feeling so so well i'm uh, going through a lot of pressure but no worry i'll be fine that's why i came to post my program today instead of yesterday i apologize sincerely apologize and yes i want you to like if you like my content for today today was pepper soup of all kind of marriages you know yeah um like share to your friends who need to open their eyes on certain things who are doubting if they should leave that marriage or not and all that share it with them and make sure to tell them to subscribe this channel i believe this channel is going to 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 touch a lot of silent women out there silent women who were not able to speak out their pain i was in that situation and i have decided to speak out and i am here to push you out to do the same okay very soon i'm going to create an email address so anybody can come and share their story and i will come and briefly put it online i'm not going to mention anybody's name but it's to encourage and also maybe if i can advise you as well i will advise you as well anyway my dear ladies thank you have a nice and lovely evening thank you and bye bye see you on saturday saturday there's a new bomb coming yeah, watch it out. <laughs>